Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Katie, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, and today, I'm tired of how my singles collection is organized. Um, I guess you'll see it. Uh, it's not disorganized, it's just not... You think you think of something one way, and then you make it easy to use thinking of it that way, and then it's not easy to use. So it's like, okay, I guess I don't think that way. I guess I don't know my own freaking brain. Um, that's the situation I'm in. So I thought I'd take you along with me uh, while I switch up how they're organized. And then I thought we could do a big giant swatch party. Uh, so there will be timestamps down below. Um, so feel free if you're just interested in seeing swatches. Uh, I'll separate it out by brands. And I'll try to include all the information I can in the description box. I don't know how much they'll let me put there. But I'll also put the names on the screen and stuff. Just so that way uh, you know what you're looking at. So hopefully this will be not too not too rough. Um, maybe even a little fun. It is 1,000 degrees here. Uh, it, they, they keep just I keep getting like heat wave notification warnings, and it's like oh it'll be done that day, and then the, it, a new one comes out and just keeps going farther and farther into the future. So we'll see when it ends, if ever. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so let's. Switch to overhead, Katie. All right, so here are my um, palettes. I also have a like kind of it's stolen from plain Jane palette. I'm gonna put stuff back in. So let me go through what the situation is right now. Um, in this one, I have uh, my Cleona shadows that are also like not in the best of not this. They're just scattered. I need to. I need to organize them. That's what we're doing here. Um, I have a scattering of stuff. These are all looksy shadows. This is all stuff from Copacetic. This this is ColourPop. I don't know what what this is. That's Sydney Grace. Um, all right. I didn't know that because I thought all my. Um, Sydney Grace stuff was in here, but apparently there are a few floating around. So we'll get that uh, together, we'll get that together. And then I have my previous intention here was, um, I'll try to not blind you with a mirror, was to do like, oh, I'll organize it by color. But then I don't know, I think of my shadows in brands. So I think the whole, what I'm gonna do is just, let me get this spoolie out of here organize stuff by a brand because that's just how I that's how they live in my brain so that's what's gonna happen so this is a smattering of brands and then I have my little this was my um, wedding wedding party makeup that I brought with me so these are all my like favorites wow look that one looks so green um so anyway so that those need to go back to their homes and this is a recent little baby Terra Moon's order, not that reason, but when they last had a sale. Um, so I need to, that's uh, that's what those are. So I think I'm gonna start with figuring out brand areas for everything. So I'm gonna put my little, yeah, I'm gonna move stuff out and then organize by brand, clean out the palettes, and then put stuff back together. So does that sound good? We all, we all on board? Great. All right, so here we are. Um, let's take stock of all the different brands going on. So I have all my Terra Moons in this little palette. Um, I think that's okay for now. I plan to get more at some point. Um, just they're a great look. You can see my light. Um, <laughs> they're a great little brand. Um, but right now, I think this is okay. I do have another. I really like these Sydney Grace palettes. I don't know why. I mean, there can you get like other stuff that's basically the same as these? I mean, yeah, definitely. Um, but I like them. They're a good size. The mirror is good. They're sturdy and they're like pretty thin. So these are like I, I like I like the Sydney Grace ones, and I have another 
big one coming. Um, I just recently shopped to their Christmas in July sale, so that's why I have one so many Sydney Graces. I have two of the big palettes. I'm getting a third one. I also really like the Cleona big palettes. Um, if you'd like a size comparison, the Cleona is a little thicker. Um, let me measure for you just a minute. Um, they probably have this like on their website, but this is like a dumb sewing measuring tape, so it starts at a weird number because you're supposed to put it around your body. Um, so yeah, so this is 15 by 23 centimeters. Just in case you're interested, um, I like them again because they're so thin. But I like I like these Cleona ones too, and this one is uh, like. 20, no, 17 and a half. Yeah, it's a square. I need to do both sides. Uh, but yeah, like 17 and a half centimeters um, around. Just so we're all aware. So anyway, I have all my Terra Moons in this little baby. That little chart guy. Um, and I have all my Sydney Grace in here. I have all my Cleona. And this guy, this needs to be cleaned too. Um, it's like pretty dust, but it is dust. Uh, and then I reunited all my Plain Jane palettes. In terms of what brands are left over, here I've got, these are all Luxy, these are all Copacetic, and these are all ColourPop. And then I have, let's look at all the different factions. I feel like a dragon, like was a horde. Um, um, so I have some lethal here. I also have a lethal palette. Uh, these are all Shine by SD. These are JD Glow. I plan to get more Shine by SD at some point. Like, I'm just trying to think of, like, how do I want to grow? Although it should not, this collection should not be growing for a long time. Oh my gosh, y'all. Um, and then I have NBA Cosmetics here. I feel like these are under-talked about. These, I like NBA Cosmetics a lot, actually. Um, so definitely check those out. And then these are two little Natasha Denona shades that I don't know why I have these. Um, and, you know, like you just, I think one was like in a Sephora hello thing and the other is like just like a random summer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how stuff gets into my life. So and then up here, these are more adept cosmetic shadows. This looks like a lethal pan. No, it's not. Why does it look so different? This one, like, why does this pan look so different? Like, I would have thought it was lethal with just the thing spun up. It, it looks thicker. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so that's the state of things. Sorry, my camera cut out for reasons unknown, so I'm sorry if everything looks totally different. All right, so let's, for now, put stuff back into this guy and maybe these little babies. I just dug my nail into this. Oh my gosh. I like having nails this length and they're not, they're, these aren't even that long, y'all. They're not even that long. And uh, I mean, they don't even know how to, I shouldn't be trusted with them. And there we go. That's all of them organized. I may put up swatches in a second part. We'll just have to see. Okay, for this portion of the video, we'll do some swatches and also talk about how I organize stuff a little bit. So this is kind of just random stuff. We have Luxy across the top, MBA right here, these six, Shine by SD here, and then all of the JD Glow. Um, yeah, I just, this is, these are all things that I don't necessarily plan to buy more of soon. Definitely not look-see. I feel like 
I have what I want and I kind of got burned. You'll see these. Uh, I'll def I'm definitely looking at Shine by SC. Um, so we'll see. JD Glow, maybe. Their pants are just so big. I almost don't like it, but it feels generous. And then NBA, I really like. Uh, I'll definitely be, I'll be on the lookout for those. But let me uh, swatch what's in here. Alright, so I changed up the positioning a little just to see, just so it was a little easier to see what's going on. Um, but I'll go through and name everything. So here we'll start off with my JD Glow. This is AKA Peachy Keen Opal Fairy Acid Lemonade and Oh Honey. These three are the Shine by SD. This is Firefly Jealous and Lightyear. Alright, these are all my NBA ones. This is Dream Chaser, Bad Apple, Glow For It, Bad Attitude, Mirage, and Glow Pop. And then finally, my <laughs> Luxie Shadows. You can see there are like duds, and then there are ones that are good. Um, this is Get Naked. It's kind of yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, flower Child, Wild Child. Oh, no, sorry. This is Halo. This is Flower Child. This is Wild Child. And this, can you even, like, see it? Is Foxy Lady. Like, they're all, like, does it even matter? The difference? I don't know. And how about ones that are, like, decent? Um, Salted Caramel, I actually really like. It's very... Shiny, like neutral, and then blue shift. I really love it, actually. Nectar, Peacock. Peacock is a classic red base, kind of gold green uh, shifty one. So if you're looking for something like that, this is a pretty decent price, and it's it's pretty darn good. Um, and then this is doo -doo -doo -doo, Glasswing, and this is Ube. So these five, I recommend these stay away from. But let me... Uh, Turn down the light and then shine some stuff and you can see it that way as well. All right, next up we have ColourPop and Copacetic Cosmetics. Should be fun. We'll do ColourPop on this side, Copacetic on that one. All right, here we go. This is She Cappins. It kind of looks like nothing, but it's actually a really great, just like one and done color in the crease when you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup. I, I actually use it kind of a lot. Uh, this is Cloud Metallic. Nothing crazy. It looks almost exactly like Earthshine. Why do I do this to myself? Uh, this is Mr. Sandman. Pick Me. Thank You Next, which is actually a pretty great like pink gold. Situation, Tea Garden, another classic, one of those red-based green and gold ones. This one's not as shiny, but uh, I like the dimension. And then this is Glass Bowl, another OG, old standard ColourPop situation. Uh, then for Copacetic, we have 96, Lizard, Aptitude, which is one of their flaky formulas, Slither, Potato Salad, Low Mass Star, Pieris, and she doesn't even go here. So let's get some bright light on these guys as well. Okay. 
Next up, I'll do these two little guys. These are all my Terra Moons, and then these are my Adept Lethal, and then like the two random Natasha Genonas. Um, I can swatch those two if, if uh, just in case people are interested, but I don't know the names of them. They're not labeled, and you can't uh, can't buy them individually, as far as I'm aware. So we'll start with the Terra Moons. Got a fresh arm. Move it over here for ease of swatching. Alright, so here we go. So to start with the uh, Terra Moons, we have Call Me, Selene, Meteorites, Celestial Petal, Starburst, Shattered Stars, Half Moon, Terra Borealis, and Hot Spice Cider. Then over here for Adept, we have, let me turn my little paper over, we have ACD5, this one has no label, I'm not sure if it's Adept or Lethal, I put it with the Adept because there was room over there, uh, but yeah, no label on this one, it's not super unique, but it is nice, but sorry, no label, uh, and then ACI14, we have ACI15, ACI 13, and then over at Lethal, we have Venom, Aether, oh, I missed this purple, that's Revolve, uh, sorry about that, and then this is uh, Vertex, okay, there we go, and then again, these two Natasha Donata ones, they're probably in like the bronze or something, but uh, yeah, there we go, let's get some Bright light on these, some flash. Sorry, you saw my little weird flashlight. There we go. All right, all that's left are Sydney Grace and Cleona. I'll start out with Cleona and then we'll do a big Sydney Grace Lollapalooza at the end. So here we go. There. I'm trying to, there's no good place for this. Um, so we'll just put it in like a not good place. <laughs> All right, here we go, some whoop -a -doop, Cleona. So we'll start off with this one. This is there we go. Reflective. This is a series one iridescent, and it's like pretty. It's fine, but I honestly don't recommend them. Um, if they're expensive, and you can find stuff way better than this for twenty dollars. Um. So that's what this one is. These three are series two iridescence. This is Halo. Then we have Ray. Then we have Lux. Lux is one of my all-time favorite shadows. Um, hopefully with the bright light you can see it's just so so shiny. One of the shiniest things I own. Um, and then these are all glitter uh, multi. Oh no, this one is a glitter iridescent. Different than the series two iridescence. This is glow. And then these right here, everything else but the last one, are all the glitter multichromes. So this is a 
Oh my gosh, I think I missed one. Yes, here we go. Here's the one I missed. I missed the glitter. Uh, glitter doesn't. So we'll start off again. So this is Reflective, Halo, Ray, Lux. And then the glitter iridescent is Glow. Then we have Chandelier, Opulent, and Glazed. Here we have Grisai, which I feel like is like a very popular Cleona shadow. It is really, really pretty. Uh, Blaze, a nice pink gold situation. And then Emboss. Then we have Corrosion, another one of my faves. Um, this is Carving. My handwriting is so bad. And then finally, Ochre. All right, next will be the Sydney Grace. We'll see uh, if I can fit them all on my on my eye. Here we go, the big collection again. I, I did the I had some of these before, and then I did a big haul during the Christmas and July sale. So. Um, that's what uh, that's my explanation, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. Uh, we'll start with shimmers, and then we'll do mattes, and I may do mattes on my other arm or something, or like on the back. So we'll just see, because I don't feel like washing my arm <laughs> again because it hurts. All right, let's get going. All right, so these first four. Um, I'm going to say the names as I watch them, or else it'll be like a lot. So this is Masquerade Ball, Gumdrop, Pink Water, Flowering Fields, and the last one in the row is Faith, Hope, and Love. Next row. All right, so the next five we have are Rainbow Mountain, Galaxy of Dreams, Dramatic, The Chase, which is another, it's kind of duochrome a little, it's got a little bit of gold to it, which is nice, and then Pink Fury. All right, there we go, little blue section. Uh, we have uh, Alluring Paradise, Charming Chaos, which is a very dimensional, cool, cool shade. Um, Under the Sea, Aqua Fever, and Juggler, which is gorgeous bright blue. So we have that side. All right, the next five we've got Gold Earth, Recruit, Recruit's one of my, another like all-time fave, uh, Light My World, this is new to me and I'm loving it, uh, Mint Chocolate Chip, and then Opulence. And I know people don't talk about Sydney Grace like metallics quite as much, but there, there are some stunners. And if you're looking for something more metallic and not like their classic kind of more satin metallic formula, go for their pressed pigments instead of like their actual like technical, technically eyeshadows. Um, but uh, they, they've got some, some great, really nuanced neutrals. Um, so that's my spiel. Let's keep swatching. Right, some more of those like kind of fun neutrals. We have Celestial Sphere, Wondrous Night, Serious Starlight, which is a really pretty silver, uh, Tiara, another great one, and Phosphines. All right, these last five got three different versions of copper. 
That's all right. They're all different. We have Versailles, Marvel, and then Magellan's Lights. And then these two, we have Winter Garden. Winter Garden is a great kind of light blue lilac duochrome shifty shade if you're but it's really subtle it's great if you need to wear a duochrome to work or something and same with this is the milky way but it's spelled m-i-e-l-k-e um but that's also it's nice like work appropriate almost uh duochrome uh, so there we go and then these last four shimmers one two Three, four. My veins got in the way. All right, sorry they're in a weird order. Uh, I didn't, I didn't calculate the space in my arm super well. All right, so we've got uh, Aim High right here, which is a really shiny, dusty, pinky purple. Amber, beautiful deep bronze. Tangy Citrus, kind of very light slightly metallic yellow. Uh, this is the dream. And then that's uh, the last four. So here we go. We'll get some flashlight on these. All right, now for the mats. I'm just gonna do them on the other arm. Hope everyone's uh, okay with that. Too late to change it. All right, these three greens, they go great together. We have Electric Lime, Kiss Me I'm Irish, and Rainforest. A little hand washy tool was over there. Right, and then we'll, we'll really see what the difference in these browns are, I suppose. Um, and I'll, just to clarify, I didn't purposely order all these. Um, I, mean, I sort of did, I guess. I did the spend a certain amount and then get a certain amount free. So some of these I didn't get to choose. Um, and that's why I ended up with so many browns. That being said, I, like it's only like three of the browns that came in that. And the rest were shimmer, so I don't really, it's not even that much of an excuse. They're, they're different, though. They're different. All right, let's, uh, let's get going. Let's get it together. Then a black. This is actually a pretty, pretty darn good black. Um, it's not like su the blackest, 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 but it's really nice, buttery, pigmented, and it blends out really well. Um, so if you're, if you're not looking for, like, it's like a charcoal charcoal black, but it's really quite nice to feel. So we have Storybook Ending, Misty Haze, Hazelnut, which is a great name for that, Broken Promise, and then Songbird. Let's, uh, let's do these last few and then we'll be done. I'll put it there just also so you can, you can see the difference a little better. All right, there we go, the final four. The only browns I would say are like pretty pretty similar are um, this guy and hazelnut, maybe. So let's go through the names. Uh, this is Fairy Tale, Coffee Snob, Journey Home, Eiffel Tower, and then Pecan Pie, which is another great dark color. And this is Coffee Snob, and this is Journey, Journey Home. So Journey Home's pretty close to Hazelnut. Um, Journey Home's maybe a little less green than Hazelnut, maybe. Um, but yeah, so there, there we go. All the mats. So that's, we're here, we're done. That's all of them. Um, I'm not gonna do an outro. Get the last little Sydney Graces in. Getting, getting some arm fallout, geez. Um, so thank you for playing along. Thank you for coming with me. Um, if you have any organization ideas, let me know. Um, I kind of, I like what this has ended up with. Do you have any favorite, uh, swatches? Uh, maybe I can do one of my favorites video as well, but let me know if you have any favorites or if you want me to compare any of them. Um, I'd be happy to do that at some point. Um, all right. So 
Again, thank you. Thank you. We'll open this up so you have something to look at. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to like it. Feel free to subscribe. Subscribe. If you are so inclined. Otherwise, just uh, come back. I'm here. You know where to find me. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!